This here is the HDR10 4K 60fps video sample guys shot on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra using the latest June AWF1 update Alright, I'm gonna do a slow pan for you to be able to just check what is going on Finally some sun here where I live Let me just initiate also slow running Best stabilization in class and some more footage guys 4k 60 fps hdr 10 plus video samsung galaxy s23 ultra it's time to test the uhd 60 fps video of course i'm starting with the front camera guys galaxy s23 ultra this is the latest june update aw f1 update guys i'm gonna initiate also a slow run to be able to test the stabilization all right very beautiful weather finally finally guys now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch to the back cameras and try to test them all right guys now 4k 60 fps back cameras hdr 10 video guys i'm gonna do a slow pan for you to be able to appreciate all the details what you're looking here is for some defect so to speak jitter when i'm moving fast or let's say lack of focus whatsoever how can we test the focus now that's very easy guys let's just do that all right okay okay in some of the leaks for the june update i've read that apparently samsung should have updated the out of focusing system whatsoever now how can we tell right we don't have any official change log or i don't have one at the time i'm shooting this video so i'm just trying to do my best to be able to showcase what is going on not definitely the quickest focus i've seen in the phone but it still works and it's there and i'll initiate a run with the back camera insanely stabilized footage guys now i'm gonna go into a darker area okay that's very important to try to see how well the phone will handle this change of contrast okay so i'm gonna step again in the sun all right one more time i'm gonna go inside to the darker area okay and now one more time guys i'm gonna go from the dark area to the sunny spot a quick step 4K 60 FPS Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. One more test, 4K 60 FPS, this time no HDR10, guys. I'm using the option to save high bitrate videos, which by default uses the HVC, which is H265 codec, guys. But these files are really huge, and this explains why I was shooting three hours 4K 60 FPS continuous video. The file from the S23 Ultra was 160 gigabytes, something like that. So, if you want to save a bit on your space, you can just go and choose HVC and just make sure to toggle off the high bitrate videos. Now, let me just do a slow run again. Okay. We have some nice weather today. And luckily, sun and also clouds, guys. Why? Because when we have the white from the clouds and also the blue from the sky you can just see or search for some bending issues color production issues any kind of jitters and whatsoever and also pay attention to the quality of the voice recorded so i just stand something like 20 30 centimeters behind the phone okay so 4k 60 fps that's the main camera now initiating the 4k 60 fps 3x i'm gonna do a slow pan all right and now towards this building okay now let me do some walking all right check for stability of the footage and of course for some artifacts for some bugs guys i know that you are always watching for things like this please also check the dynamic range now i'm gonna go uh, to this part here without sun okay now let's do some hdr testing guys okay. ok 
Okay. Now 10x guys S23 Ultra on the latest June AWS one update guys. Let me know what you think. I am not walking. That's why the footage is stable. Now I'm gonna walk towards the sparrow and as you can just see, yeah. Uh, if I start walking, of course, the footage is not gonna be that stable anymore. But else, uh, when I'm holding the camera with both hands and stay in one place, the 10x video seems to be quite pleasant. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Now, the UHD 30 FPS test to be able to cycle through all the lenses starting with the 0 0.6 ultra wide. Going to the 1x wide camera, guys. Going now to the 3x optical zoom, then 10x. All right, and now up to 20x. Walking ultra wide, 1x, 3x, guys, 10x. And yeah, if I have to go to 20x, I need to stop walking because yeah, it's yeah, just very close to the object. But this is the quality that you'll get. It's now time for the indoor test, 4K UHD, 60 FPS video, guys. Indoor video, it's always very challenging, so pay attention. And you also need to revisit the old videos I always shoot here inside to compare the indoor performance. And you can check how the June update is doing against the May update and the others. So let me initiate a slow run to test stabilization. All right, now I'm gonna do a pan. This here is the ultra wide camera, guys. Pay attention to those styles. It's always a very good indication of how well or not well the video is handled. Also, guys, pay attention when I get into some darker areas and then immediately jump into some well illuminated areas. This contrast is also very challenging for most of the phone's cameras. This here is the ultra-wide S23 Ultra guys shot on the latest AWF one update. This is the main camera guys. 4K 60 FPS. Gonna do a slow pan. Now back on the tiles. Let me do a slow run. Okay, now I am again in this darker area, which should be quite a challenging scenario. Another fact, guys, that contributes to the challenging scenario here is the fact that we have so many ends of different artificial lighting. Okay, enough. Now let's jump to the 3X. This now is 3X footage, guys. I'm walking. And I'm gonna do also a slow run to test the stabilization. Oh wow. Okay. Now something where you can appreciate the zoom level. i just show you. Okay, pay attention to fonts, to people and faces, tails and all kind of logos. So this is 3x. Now the final mode guys, this is 10x 4K 60 FPS. Alright, one more time, check all the fonts and logos. Alright, the detail and the contour of all the text you can see. And of course also the shape of the tiles. I am just going to put the phone a bit. I'm not walking by the way, it wouldn't make sense really with 10x. Just want you to appreciate the quality of the video. Again here some more drainings. And here some more for check. 